So what I'll do, I'll show you exactly how I do this process. So in the beginning, when I start up in the springtime, I start off with these large trays like this. Okay? You have a tray like this. I usually, you smell bleach. I usually uh, disinfect all of my trays before is, I reuse this them. This is your bleach, it's bleach disinfecting water, right? tray. Yeah, it's just, you can smell it. Smell? Smell chlorine? No. It dissipates with time, so it's probably not as strong as oh, yeah, it was it. yesterday, I can okay? I can, I can smell it. it. It evaporates in the air. So, so you so, soak it, you dip the trays in that. Yeah, solution. I leave them in there. Sometimes I leave them there an hour or so as I'm working, and then I take them out, let them drain, and then and I that use sterilizes them. Everything. It sterilizes everything. sterilizes everything. No, you start with no diseases in your plants. Nice. So I'll start off with this, and I'll put some uh, Canadian sphagnum pea moss. This is, and then I mix it with vermiculite, with horticultural vermiculite. Okay. And uh, I run it through a screen like this. And this is make sure we understand that this is for seed soil for starting seedling seed. starts. Yeah, all these, all these plug trays you see, because of the small diameter holes like that, require real fine. The other one is too had too much rock and twigs and stuff, wouldn't fit in there. So this stuff is like this see see how fine that is it's real fine real easy no no resistance to coming up no rocks no sticks look at that isn't that beautiful got that vermiculite in it yeah it's got vermiculite and peat moss and and then we screen it to get it like this see and it's real fine it flows real nice and so and you can feel it's it's real airy Oh yeah. Doesn't pack down like dirt would, mm -hmm. so that, so you get that firm seed to soil contact, so that they have that moisture. See that any air around the seed will let the seed dry out. Mm. That's why you always want to firm it after you plant it. Even outside, you got to firm it against the soil. Even like sometimes just step on it, pack it. Mm -hmm. They'll come up. They've seen them come up through dirt clods, mm -hmm. straight to the middle of them. But so, there's no nutrients in this. None at all. Mm -hmm. They don't need any. Because you said that the seed has its own initial nutrients. Yeah, it has what they call endosperm, is what provides the nutrients to the to the plant in the beginning. I put the soil in here like this. Get some cornered beet from the drywall. Right. Oh. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very fast. Any questions yet? <laughs> Take your whatever seed you're going to do. Put them in there like that. You get done. Press it firm so you no. get good seed to soil contact. No water yet. No water, but good seed to soil contact. Okay. Then that goes in a tray and sucks up all the water it can. Goes in that emulsion, that fish right. emulsion. Well, no, if you're doing seedlings like this, nothing but water. Oh, just water. Water. They don't need anything but water. They have what is called endosperm as their energy source inside the seed. Oh. And that's big enough for them to get above surface. Oh. Once you see a leaf come up, then you can give them fertilizer. No nutrients are added until you see the leaves come up. So you see and leaves. then you do foliar, foliar feed. Right. Just show us that little piece of drywall stuff, will you? Corner bead. This has probably cost you about six cents at the store, but to recreate it is almost impossible. <laughs> it's your furrowing tool. And this is how I start the onions, the peppers, the eggplant, everything you see in here in trays started like that at some point. Mm -hmm. So, that's great. So, okay, so you've got to that stage.